Hello, my 114 Waterline. It's Friday, May 27th, 2022. And I'm going to be doing the exterior garage and utility move in walkthrough. So here we are at the uh, front of the building. This is kind of around the backside from the street, but this is the front of the property. Um, house itself is looking really good. Um, unmarked and undamaged, no problems there. The uh, front yard looks very nice. Grass has been cut. Flower beds have, um, have flower beds or mulch. They're free of leaves, trash, and debris. All looking fine there. And the grass has been mowed. Um, I believe the grass is cut by the community, so they will get that taken care of. And the front path right here does have a few kind of just stains on it. Um, but it is undamaged, all looking fine there. Front door looks good, unmarked and undamaged. Lockbox will be hanging right there from the doorknob when you come by for move in. Light works, no problems there. And uh, there is one hose bib is gonna be right there behind the bush. I'll show you where the shutoffs are for that in one minute. So we are gonna go ahead and walk on down the side of the unit right now. So as, like I said, yard looks good, unmarked and undamaged, flower beds are mulched and free of leaves and debris, all looking great there. And the side of the house looks good. Undamaged, all the vent covers are in place, siding all looks good, no problems there. AC unit is going to be right here, as you can see. And yard looks good. And here we coming on around to the back side of the unit. So one quick note, the mailbox is going to be right over there. It's going to be the right bank of boxes. It's going to be box number eight. I took a picture of it on my move-in report. So here are the driveway. It's uh, looking good. Unmarked and undamaged. No problems there. Deck itself looks good. Back of the house, no problems. And I will go ahead and take a look on the deck when we go on inside. Please watch out for the electrical meter and the gas meter right here. Don't damage that as you're moving in or out or parking the cars. Garage door right here looks good. Uh, maybe some slight wear and tear, but no damage. It will come with two garage door remotes. I will leave them both on the kitchen counter. Please make sure you leave the garage door remotes and all remotes to the property um, when, you, uh, when you vacate. So here we are inside the garage. So it's a pretty standard garage. The, uh, the garage walls right here do have some anchors on them and some hooks and stuff like that. But um, that's okay. No problems there. There are some marks present, but... Uh, like I said, that's pretty standard for a garage, so no problems there. Other hose bib is going to be right there on the wall. This window has screens, blinds, all working, looking fine. Right over here in the corner, we have two trash cans and one recycling bin, all provided for use. There's also the breaker box right over there in the corner. Above the garage door, there are going to be some uh, metal racks, as you can see. Please don't overload those too much. You can put some stuff up there, but don't put anything that's really crazy heavy. I said back of the door looks fine. And the garage floor here is, uh, again, has a few marks on it, but it's going to be pretty standard for a garage. Nothing out of the ordinary has been painted. Garage floor is painted. So um, just wanted to kind of point that out. All looking fine there. All right, we are going to take a quick look inside the utility closet right here. So a couple important things in here. Um, there are some house items present, as you can see. Uh, but the most important thing is this is going to be the main water shutoff. So that yellow handle, that'll turn off the sprinklers and the plumbing. Or this blue knob right there, that'll leave the sprinklers on. It'll just turn the plumbing off. So I just wanted to point that out. Also wanted to point out that the hose bib shutoffs are going to be right there. Front and back are both turned off. Feel free to turn them back on, but they do need to be turned back off again before we get freezing temperatures. Again, hot water heater's all looking good. Again, it's got a few house items back there in the corner. So, no problem. That all needs to stay here at the property. And please do not lean anything up against the hot water heater or the HVAC system. All right, that'll do it for the exterior move-in walkthrough. Thank you very much.